Hello everyone, I hope you are safe and sound. In this video, we will talk about search reading. As you know, search reading is a reading task and it's a component in the proficiency exam. So, let's start with what search reading is. Search reading is a lengthy reading text with a number of subtitles, paragraphs and visuals. These visuals can be pie charts, tables or bar graphs. That means you will have a five or six page long reading text and this text will be divided by some subtitles to make it easier for you to find the information you are looking for. Sometimes there can be charts and you might need to look at these charts carefully to find the information you are looking for too. Another important point about the search reading task is that you need to finish it in 20 minutes. This means you shouldn't read the whole text because you cannot finish the task in 20 minutes in that case. Also, you don't have to understand everything in the reading text because again, if you try to do it in 20 minutes, you cannot finish five or six page long reading text and the six questions. Considering the time limitation, this task might seem really challenging for you. But the thing is, if you know the right skills, techniques and strategies you need to use in this task, and if you have lots of practice, of course, you won't have any difficulty. So let's look at the reading skills you need for search reading, first of all. The first skill you need to use and practice is surveying. Probably you know these skills from your offline reading skills section, but it's a good idea to revise them again. So surveying is actually looking at the titles, subtitles, and visuals if there are any. So your aim is to get prepared for the reading text. And the second strategy is skimming. Skimming means finding the main idea by uh, looking at the text. So you can look at the first sentence of a paragraph, last sentence of the paragraph, and you can, you can look at the pictures and you need to get the gist, which is main idea in the reading text. So this will help you to match your question, to match the sentence with the right paragraph or with the right part in a reading text. And the last skill is scanning. So scanning means if you are looking for uh, specific information, you need to find the exact location of the information in the reading text. So this is called scanning. So if you are looking for the name of a person, the name of a place, date, uh, the name of an event, it means you are scanning the text to find that information. This is uh, a sample reading, search reading question page. Uh, in search reading tasks, there are six questions you need to answer in 20 minutes. And actually these are not questions, these are sentences you need to complete. So there are blanks here as you see. So this means you need to first decide what do you need to put in these blanks? Are you going to find a noun? Are you going to find a verb or an adjective? It means you need to find the relevant information in the long reading text and you need to write it here in 20 minutes. Of course, there are some steps you need to follow. The first step is you need to write the subtitles under the questions. So let's say that your reading text is about the disadvantages of the online education process. For example, your subtitles, I mean, in that research reading text, the subtitles can be disadvantages for students, disadvantages for another subtitle can be disadvantages for the teachers. Another subtitle can be the disadvantages for um, the administration in the school, for example. So these are the subtitles. So you need to write these subtitles in the question uh, page so that you can match the questions with the subtitles uh, in an easier way. The second step is you need to look at the sentence and identify the keywords because you matched your sentence with a subtitle, but under that subtitle, uh, there will be at least three or four paragraphs. And in that paragraph, you need to find the exact sentence because as you know, the, the sentences in the question page, uh, those sentences are actually the paraphrased versions of a sentence or 
two or three sentences in the reading text. So if you want to find that sentence or those sentences, you need to identify the keywords in your question. So what are the keywords? They can be name of a place, name of the person, dates, important events, and many other things. So we will talk about them uh, when we look at the questions. Third step is when you identify the keywords, you need to match the sentence with a heading or subheading. And the last step is you need to find the same sentence in a paragraph in the reading text. So let's look at the question first of all, question one. So in this part, you need to look at uh, your search reading handout and question one. So put the reading text in front of you and the question page uh, because they are separate now and we sent them, sep we sent them to you separately. Um, so let's read the question first of all. I already wrote the subtitles here because we will directly match uh, the sentence with a subheading. When Buddy Holly and his friends were traveling to Minnesota, their plane crashed. However, nobody knows what caused blah, blah, blah. So we need to put something here. First of all, uh, let's identify the keyword. So Buddy Holly is the name of a person. So this can be a keyword. Keyword means it's a word that can lead us to the answer, to the paragraph, to the right paragraph, to the subheading we need. So Buddy Holly is the name of the person and there is Minnesota, it's a name of a place. So these are enough actually for us for now, because when we see Buddy Holly here, we can, we can find that uh, the answer can be under this heading. So this means you need to go to this part because your answer can be somewhere here. So this is our question. When we find the right part, we need to look at the question again. When Buddy Holly and his friends were traveling to Minnesota. So we used Buddy Holly uh, to find the right part. Now we are going to use another keyword we, we found it and it was Minnesota. So we are looking for now we are doing scanning. We are scanning the text to find Minnesota. So we are looking at the first paragraph, but we are not reading it. We are just taking a look at it. We are looking for Minnesota and it is not here. I am looking at the second paragraph and it is not here. In the third paragraph, there is Minnesota. It means my answer can be somewhere here because it cannot be that far. So when Buddy Holly and his friends were traveling to Minnesota, their plane crashed. So there was, a, there was an accident. However, nobody knows what caused something. So obviously I need a noun here. So what caused what? So the thing is now we are in the last step. So we need to find uh, the exact sentence, the paraphrased version of the original sentence. So the thing is, if I am looking for the original sentence, it means I need to find two, one or two sentences and I need to look at the words here. For example, if there is however here, it means in the original sentence, uh, there can be but. If there is cause here, there can be reason in the original sentence. If there is plane crash here, there can be accident here. Okay, so let's look at some sentences or let's look at this paragraph because Minnesota is here. The same night at 1 a.m., Buddy and his two friends were on the plane. So this sentence is already in our sentence. So I don't need anything here. They were on their way to Minnesota for their next concert. Okay, still we are in, this, in the first sentence. It was a cold and windy night, so I don't need anything from this sentence. It was snowing too. Then something bad happened. People saw the lights of the small plane come slowly down and down. Suddenly they disappeared. Maybe it was the pilot's mistake, but maybe there was a, or maybe there was a technical problem, but no one, but there is no one here. There is nobody here. No one found out. No one knows. The reason caused. It means the word 
I will see after. The reason can be my answer because I am looking for a noun and there is a noun here. The accident. That means this can be my answer. What caused the accident? Let's look at the second question. So first of all, I need to match this sentence or question with a subheading. After becoming popular her, with her hit song, Torn, and this, this can be my uh, keyword because this is the name of a song. Natalie, this is the name of a person. Made their first album, this is also name of something. Um, has won something, including MTV, blah, blah, blah. So when I see the name Natalie here, I can directly match this sentence with this subheading. Okay, this will lead me to this part, to these three paragraphs. So now I need to look at my keywords again because I need to find them in a paragraph. There is torn, there is left of the middle, there is MTV Music Video Awards. So this will lead me to the second paragraph because all the keywords are here. So I need to find out what she has won. Okay, it was very successful. So it was very successful and it brought her many prizes, including. You see, the rest is almost the same, including, including. It means I need something before the comma. And here there is many prizes. So it matches here. Has won many prizes. It brought her many prizes. So she she got many prizes. Again, she got many she got many prizes. So it is almost the same. This means my answer is many prizes. So your answer, um, I mean, it doesn't mean that your answer should be only one word. It can be two words or three words too. Let's look at question three. Celine Dion, so this is, this is the name of a person. This can be my keyword. Became word famous first. These words are also important. First, the most, the least, because they show you something. They they lead you to somewhere or someone or something. So first is also important. You can circle them or you can underline them. Celine Dion first with the song named. It means I am looking for a song name. And because there is Celine Dion here, it means I should look for my answer um, somewhere under this heading. OK, this is the paragraph I need. It's, it's, it's quite long. Um, so I am looking for a song name and this song should make her uh, word famous and it should be the first one that uh, made her word famous. And it is somewhere here. Her first international success, see, first is here again. International means word famous. So because this sentence, the question I see is a paraphrased version of a sentence here. So I found my sentence. Paraphrase means um, this sentence, actually, the writer used different words while writing this sentence, or there were two sentences and the writer combined these sentences using a linker. And this one is actually, uh, this one is the one uh, that used uh, different words, let's say, because there's international here, there is word famous here. Her first international success was singing the theme song for Disney's The Beauty and the Beast. So I was looking for a song name and I found it. And this is my answer because this is the name of the song that made her word famous first. Let's look at question four. Among many, other, many of the jobs he had, Elvis liked being a blah, blah, most. And again, I have a name, I have most, and this is also important because probably he had many jobs. He worked, I mean, at many places, uh, but one of those jobs was, was, I mean, his favorite, let's say. Probably you will see a word like favorite or you will see many jobs. And 
what, what are we looking for here? So we are looking for a job, being a nurse, being a teacher, being an engineer, let's say, but there's a here. So that's, that's an important point too. So this name will lead me to this person. So this is our part. Um, so we need to go to the paragraph that is about the jobs he had. And it is the second paragraph. After he left school, Elvis worked in different jobs. So this is this part. So I don't need anything from this sentence. He worked in cinemas and supermarkets. And he worked as a lorry driver. This was the job he liked most. You see, there is most here and there is most here. So which job did he like most? Being a lorry driver. So there is as here, but there is being here. So I need this part only, a lorry driver. And I don't need a too. So it should be lorry driver. Question five, in addition to making music and films, John Lennon, again, I, need, I, I have a name here, wrote two books. He also starred in a film, In. So probably I need a date here, in a film, when, for example, in 1999 or something like that. And so because I have the name here and I know that I am looking for information about a movie. So I need to go to this part. So this is the part. It is quite long, but I know what I am looking for. I am looking for uh, information about a movie, a film. So John Lennon did not only make music and films with the Beatles. He also wrote two books. The first one in 1964 but this there is a date here but this date is about the books the second one a year after this in 1967 he acted in a film okay so there is a film and there is in here because in my original sentence in the question there was in two called how i won the war it means this date is the information i need and this is the answer because there is in here so I need to find something like in in the original paragraph in the original sentence too because I need uh, the part that comes after in let's look at the last question James Dean this is the name of a person so this will bring me to this part was not a friendly or a talkative person he could spend days without talking to anybody he even took his glasses off and played something, so I need a noun here, at parties to ignore people. So I don't have uh, the name of a place, I don't have dates, but I have the name of a person. And if you have difficulty in finding keywords, so you should find specific information. For example, party, glass, uh, taking his glasses off. This can be a clue for you too. So let's look at the paragraphs. Okay, now we are going to look for our keywords in this part. So what were our keywords? Parties, glasses. So let's look for these words in the first paragraph and I cannot see any parties here. So let's look at the second paragraph. So there aren't uh, any parties, any glasses. But in the third paragraph, we see parties uh, on the third line and on the fourth line, uh, we see glasses. So let's read these sentences. So what uh, the, the information we are looking for is uh, what he played at the parties. So we, we need to find the verb play here. He sometimes didn't talk to anybody for days. This means ignoring someone. When he went to parties, he often brought his bongo drum. So this is a kind of uh, musical instrument. Then he sat in a corner, took off his glasses because he didn't want to see anybody. So because he didn't want to see anybody is the part about uh, ignoring and played. So this play, uh, the, this verb uh, was also in our question. So it means we need this as an answer, the drums or his bongo drums. It means he played these. So this is your answer. So this is the end of um, search reading practice for now. Uh, I am sure you will have more practice, but until that time, um, you can practice this 
uh, this kind of an exercise in your more to read book. So be, because these are, um, I mean, they are almost the same with search reading um, texts or search reading question types. Uh, you are doing scanning in these exercises too. You are looking at reading text, you are looking for specific information. I mean, they are almost the same. So it serves your um, aim, let's say. Uh, and if you are doing more to read too, uh, the texts or these activities in that in that book, they are actually more difficult than some search reading texts and questions. So you can you can start doing these activities uh, in in your more to read books, and you can get ready for search reading paragraphs too, uh, because on the internet you cannot find uh, many exercises that are similar to search reading. So until that time, until we meet again. Um, see you again, stay safe, uh, stay healthy, and please go to the assignment section because you will see uh, these exercises there. So, see you guys!